fourth lecture in CHM 101 titled Introductory in Inorganic Chemistry. Uh, what are the intended lesson outcomes? By the end of this lesson, students should be able to do the following. One, define the concept of electronegativity. Two, calculate, giving all the necessary impacts, the electronegativity of an element using polys, mullikin, taffy, and afraid, uropoid, electronegativity scales. Discuss the periodicity in electronegativity. Uh, students are uh, therefore advised to study ahead of time and as uh, you participate in this virtual class, ask questions in any aspect of this topic or even discuss where you experience difficulty. Thank you. I am your facilitator, Dr. Emeka C. Ogoko. Uh, students, uh, once again, uh, this is uh, CHN 101, Introductory in Organic Chemistry. Uh, today we'll be looking at uh, a topic, uh, uh, Electronegativity, uh, presented by Dr. Emeka C. Ogoko. The in intended uh, lesson outcome or learning outcome, uh, of course, uh, in the preview in the slides uh, and two slides before this one uh, uh, in our uh, introductory video. I think that has been taken care of. However, for the benefit of that, so our intended learning act, so, uh, by the end, by the time this lecture is over, students will be able to define the concepts of electronegativity, calculate, giving all the necessary uh, impact, the electronegativity of all elements using polys, uh, mullikin, taffy, and afraid rock cure electronegativity scales. Discuss the periodicity in electronegativity. Electronegativity. The electronegativity of an element is a measure of the power of an atom in a molecule to attract shared electron to itself. Unlike ionization and electron affinity, it is not a it, it is not a directly measurable physical quantity, but rather a theoretical concept for which several numerical scales have been developed. A Pauline electronegativity, electronegativity scale in homonuclear diatomic molecules like uh, A2, uh, we are in bracket, we have A uh, bonded to another atom A, uh, a single uh, linear bonding and B2 uh, uh, we are true uh, uh, atoms uh, identify as B and we are linearly bounded together the electron pair is equally shared between the atoms bonded together in a head true nuclear diatomic molecules of the type AB however the situation is quite different in the process of formation of a bond between A and B, and A slowly st starts striking off its electrons, thereby becoming a partially cationic species. It becomes posi positively charged. As a positively charged develops on A, its tendency to attract electrons increases. Meaning, why a similar process also takes place on atom B. Thus, both atoms A and B start attracting 
the electron pair towards themselves. This tendency of attracting the shared electron pair towards itself by an atom of a molecule has been termed the electronegativity of the element. The concept of electronegativity was first developed by Pollitt. Therefore, electronegativity of an atom is the tendency of the atom to attract electrons to itself when combined in a compound. The, uh, if bonding electrons spend more time around one atom, that, that atom will have a partially negatively charged and the other atom will have a partially positively charged. Pollens assign the cause of this exercise, bond energy, where we have uh, E, A minus A bonded to B minus the square root of E with the bond energy of atom A bonded to another atom A with a shared electron. They multiply by the square root of uh, E, the bonded energy of a, um, one of the nuclear bonded uh, atom B, two atoms B together, to the less prostatic attraction between the partially charged atoms and are separated due to the differences in electron attracting tendencies of A and B. That is, the difference in the electronegativity of A and B. Uh, we have the uh, mathematical expression here. So we, from this equation here, where Xa is the electronegativity of the element A, and Xb is the electronegativity of element B. Knowing the bond energies, knowing the bond energies, it is possible to calculate the difference between the electronegativities of the two elements. The formula only gives the difference in the electronegativities of the two elements and not the absolute values assigned to a particular element. At the class activity 1, name the least and the most electronegative elements in the periodic table. Uh, to, uh, as a way to uh, make reference to that class activity, uh, electronegative elements, uh, uh, you discover that those elements in group uh, Roman, group 7 of the periodic table, are uh, the halogens. And the halogens have and the highest electronegativity, uh, with fluorine uh, with the highest electronegativity. Neg negativity. Uh, then, uh, in terms of the least electronegativity, uh, you may have to look at the alkaline metals, especially those metals in group one of the periodic table. So, I have given you hints to that class activity. So, I expect you to uh, do the class activity and report back. The Mulliken Jaffe electronegativity scale. The Mulliken defines electronegativity as the mean value of first ionization energy and the first electron affinity. So both quantities are given positive values if loss of electrons involves absorption of energy and negative values if gain of electrons involves release of energy. Thus, Electronegativity of atom A is given by the following relationship. So X here is uh, electronegativity. X for atom A is equal to one is equal to I A plus uh, E A all divided by two as it is in the equation in this. So according to this relationship, a very 
electronegative element has very high ionization energy. The electronegativity values on molecane scale are about 2.8 times those of pollen's value. Afre Ro Cho electronegativity scale. Afre electroneg electronegativity is equated to the force of attraction between an atom and the electron separated by a distance equal to the covalence radius of the atom. And the force of attraction is expressed according to Coulomb's law as where uh, uh, Z star is the slatter's effective nuclear electronic charge and R is the covalent radius. Electronegativity is a measure of the attraction that an atom has for electrons in a bond it has formed with another atom. The ability, therefore, of an atom to attract electrons depends upon the charge on the atom and the hybridization of the atom. An atom which has acquired a positively charged will tend to attract electrons to it more readily than with a neutral atom. Electronegativity can be used to predict the value of the bonding that a compound will have. The larger the difference between the electronegativities of the two elements, the more polar will be the bond between these elements. Periodicity in electronegativity. Electronegativity values of elements show fairly discernible periodic trends throughout the periodic table. The trend is similar to that of ionization energies. Electronegativity of elements increases sharply across a row of S and P elements. This is as a result of the sharp increase in effect, effective nuclear charge of these elements, except for lithium to fluorine. Class activity 2 states a relationship between electronegativity and hybridization. To uh, explain why electronegativity values of noble gases are zero, why those of halogens are the highest in each period. In conclusion, we study the power of elements. Why in a relationship? with each other to attract to it the electrons in the bond between them. An atom in sp hybridized states will be more electronegative than the same atom in sp2 hybridized states, which will in turn be more electronegative than the same atom in sp3 habitat states. Thus, the carbon atom in methane, a tin and a time has different values of electronegativity. In summary, that electronegativity is the tendency of an atom to attract electron, to attract towards itself the shared electron pair of a bond in which it is involved. 
that electronegativity can be measured by using any of the three scales developed by either Pauli, Mulliken, or Alfred Rocha. The measurements of electronegativity vary according to the method used in measuring it. And the values of electronegativity vary across the period and groups of the periodic table. Dr. Emeka. Uh, once again, thank you for participating in, in this uh, lecture.